Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a good weekend. So we got S&P up 10, NASDAQ up 61, Russell is pretty much unchanged, Dow up 26. I did, I did have a good weekend. Did a little uh, farming, did a little tractoring around. Work meeting, Elliot. Come on, you got to tell them what to do on that scheduling. That is ridiculous. It's uh, this weekend was hot. 100 degrees, 110 with heat index. The next... Uh, you know it's hot when your weather app shows a picture of a cactus for the next six days. Especially when you're not in Arizona. All right, so this morning, uh, Rick is out of play. Ducks are out of play. So I'm just doing the AM ratio. So my first order of biz is to buy the longs. Then I will sell the shorts with my OCO. I've also got a 3-5 DTE double cal calendar that I will be closing out near the open. So I'm going to get filled on my AM ratio first, and then I'll address the double calendar. And assuming things stay fairly stable, I'll I'll get into a uh, quiet lunch trade later this morning. Right around lunchtime, that is. <laughs> you saw that coming, huh, Mauro? Yeah, I was just it was all kind of fresh in my mind, so I thought it was a good time to. Plus, I've been I've been slacking on my uh, keeping up with my podcast, so I need to get back into the swing of things. I think my last one before that was the the Dick K episode. Uh, good morning, Claz. So I just posted if you didn't see in the Trade Plans channel, uh, Claz shared his uh, kind of trade results and trade plans. So I posted those in there for anyone. Check those out. Good stuff. Twenty seconds till the bell. There it is. So I'm going to try to buy my longs first. Thirty five wide. Should we get filled at filled at twenty three twenty? Actually, I should have been on the forty three sixty on the put side, but I'm in the forty four hundred calls, forty three sixty five puts.
And it looks like my 3.5 DTE double calendar might be a tiny scratch loser. Oh, it looks like it's down about 140 bucks, 100 bucks, somewhere in there. I am loving my new uh, computer setup here. All kinds of real estate to play with, with the uh, new monitors. Trying to get filled on my 3.5 at 1830. I'm going to have to adjust that down. Closer to 1815 or 18. Let's try No fill at 1820. No fill at 18. Oh, fill at 1810. All right, just uh, posted in the calendar channel. All right, so getting a little decay coming in already on the zero D or on the uh, yeah the zero DTE trade. And if you're new, I've on this one I've got I'm trying to take I'll take half off it once I get to 50% of credit and then I'll let the last one last one ride till 80% if we get there. By the way, if you are new here this morning, uh best place to start to kind of get up to speed is well, a couple places. So We've got the zero DTE course channel and there's a lot of good stuff, just kind of foundational stuff around zero DTE. And there we've got just kind of zero DTE iron condors. That's, that's a little bit older of a strategy that I, I don't necessarily trade anymore using deltas, but it will, but it will give you a good foundation for kind of the, a lot of the concepts. We've got reverse iron condor. We've got zero DTE trading decisions. It's kind of a short video on that. Here's a recording of a zero DTE live stream. By the way, uh, all zero DTE live streams are recorded. Uh, if you go to in the live stream channel, navigationtrading.com slash archive, you'll find all the recordings there. Uh, also in the zero DTE course, there's some position size and trade plan stuff. Uh, how to use OCO orders with spreadsheets and how to use uh, OCO order templates. And I've got some examples that I give there. We've got a, a, obviously the zero DTE channel, which is a, a lot of posting just zero DTE related. The channel we're in now chatting zero uh, live chat. That would be for all the uh, while we're streaming live. That's what that's the channel we use. And then the zero DT trade plans. So 
every month, this is where I will be posting my trade plan for the next month. We've also got some awesome presentations of their trade plans from Tim Weiss, Dick K, and the one I just posted myself, and then the one I just posted, uh, Krish from last week, and then the one I just posted this morning from Klaz uh, is in there as well. So those are the best places to start. And the idea is to take ideas from these trade plans from others and then build your own based on your account size, your risk tolerance, all that fun stuff. And during the, uh, during the live streams here, like today, uh, as you can see, I, you know, I got in the trade. There's not actually a whole lot else I'm going to be doing from an active trading perspective. So we use these live streams to help fill in the gaps and answer any questions you have as well. So feel free to post if you have anything in the zero live chat channel. s and is now up 20, NASDAQ up 130, Russell slightly green, Dow up 50, gold and silver, well, silver's up a couple percent, gold is just slightly green, notes and bonds are lower, 10-year yield pushing up above 4.3, oil up almost 1%, Natty Gas up 3%, soybeans up, wheat down, corn up, euro and the pound pretty flat, and Bitcoin flat. VIX up 1%, VIX futures down two and a half. Got the Monday morning VIX pop, but VIX futures volatility is really contracting. Let's see, I got to get my little chart set up a little bit better here.
So let's see. Expected move at the beginning of the day was close to 20, a little over 23. So about 4403 on the upside. Seven on the downside. All right, my friends, what else we got today? Uh, I'm going to be putting on, it's looking at both a 1-2 and a 1-3 DTE double calendar. Uh, I may do both. Let me pull up the, uh, let me look again. I was looking last night. Let's double check this. So here's the economic news today, or for the week. So today, absolutely nothing. Tomorrow, we get the BRICS Summit. Existing home sales. Got some FOMC members speaking. Wednesday, pre, uh, right after the market opens, we've got Flash PMI. BRICS Summit still going. Thursday, Brick Summit still going. Unemployment claims. Um, I need to change this to my time zone. There we go. So Thursday, pre-market unemployment claims. And then Friday, we've got some more FOMC speakers. Consumer Sentiment and Jackson Hole with Mr. Powell speaking. So that's probably going to shake some stuff up on Friday. It's like he starts speaking about 35 minutes after the market opens. And that Jackson Hole Symposium continues on to Saturday. So, all that being said, I will be. Uh, so I've got a I've got a six seven on right now. Um, three fours do test really well. Putting those on Monday morning, so today uh, it's going to be a pretty much an overlap of my six seven. So I already, I've already got a six seven on, so I'm not going to do it, but. You can test uh, three fours, which uh, should do well. I'm going to do, I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a one, three BNB today. And then I'm also going to do a two, four. That way I get some more long options on Friday. So Does anyone have a two four 
back test that they currently trade. That they wouldn't mind sharing. I've got a uh, <clears throat> the one that I've got here. I haven't really traded much, and I haven't really dug into specific times of day. Looks like it's been pretty choppy for the last four or five, six months or so. Two, four. Thanks, Marl. The main thing is just trying to figure out <clears throat> optimal entry and exit times on this thing. I had three, I had later in the day previously. Dick K, are you on here? No, it doesn't look like Dick's on this morning. I know Dick K trades a 2-4. Looks like a little bit later in the day, entry is better. Tomorrow you're using a 30 Delta. Krish, I see good slump in premiums. Yeah, I've I've found entering at eleven a.m. my time works best. Um, let's see here. Uh, 
that two four. It's been pretty flat here to date, hasn't it? I'm really just I'm really doing this more. I mean, I want to. I want to follow a back test, but I also just want my longs on the Friday Jackson Hole day is a big reason for doing the 2-4 here today as well. Let's see a 20 delta looks like. Let's do a little bit better, actually. You know, it looks kind of like later in the day. Test better for the two four. I'm gonna stick with my original three thirty. All right, that'll work. Also got the uh... 1025 Dick K special we could trade today. Russell and Dow are now red. AM ratios back to center. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Um, yep, it is a uh, delta based entry. So that is this one here. So 45 delta on the puts, 25 delta on the calls, 55 points wide. Thank you, rules. So I think I will uh, I'll go ahead and enter this, this one. 925 my time so here in about 30 minutes so we'll stick around oh there's dick k 
Decay has joined us. Just talking about you, Dick. We're plotting and planning for the Dick K special here in about 30 minutes. <coughs> oh, something something is tickling my throat right now um hey dick k when you get a chance do you have a 2-4 dte double calendar that you're currently trading Yeah, no, no rush. Whenever you get a, whenever you get a second. Meech, what are you doing here? I thought you had a, a new, uh, New fancy job that you can, you know, really grace us with your presence very much anymore. Okay, thanks, Dick. Yeah, that they, uh, they've been a little looks like a little choppy uh, year to date. I just I liked it today just because of the Jackson Hole thing on Friday. So I was trying to add some more calendars with with the longs on Friday. <clears throat> yeah, that one yours is pretty similar to mine. All right. SPX pushing up to new highs on the day. VIX is now basically unchanged, slightly higher. Let me grab myself a cup of coffee. I'll be back in just a minute.
Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not doing the two DTEs anymore just because I'm going to be doing a lot of the time flies <clears throat> and they're, um, you know, they can be a little bit correlated. I do like it, but I just, it's a, uh, you know, just capacity issue. All right. AM ratio still looking good. Speaking of time flies, let's check out our <clears throat> current one here. So if price pushes up and kind of... <clears throat> Holds above 4,400. That's where I would look to add a calendar adjustment to our time fly. But if it pushes it down a little bit, we would hit our profit target. NASDAQ up 1.2%. Tech being a little strong today. Got a NASDAQ hedgehog with 11 DTE, so we'll take that off towards the end of the week. Now we got SPX pushing. Oh, that's NASDAQ. I need to take my link off that one. Mm 
NASDAQ is strong. What do we got moving here in stocks today? Nikola down 12%, AMC down 10%. Moderna up 6% after a couple big moves in Moderna lately. Tesla up 6%. NVIDIA up 4 Wow. The big boys are moving. NVIDIA's got earnings on 8.23, so that's what, Wednesday? Microsoft up one and a half, Meta up one and a half, AMD up one and a half, Amazon up one and a quarter, Google up almost one, Netflix up a half percent, where's Apple? Apple's up a half percent. In the different sectors, we've got real estate week, regional banks week. Financials pretty flat, strongest semiconductors and tech. Energy is a little bit green. Retail slightly green. Yeah, we need a little bounce in the euro to get us back to center there. Got our v uh, VXX trades are working. The first one we put on is almost back to a scratch. The other one's up a few hundred. We painted the top of volatility with that one at this point. So that was nice. I want to. I want to get 50% of max profit there. So I'm looking for about 650. So it's going to need to get down to closer to 24, under 24 in VXX before I start peeling any of that off. So, Kelvin, I trade, uh, you'll see it on my trade plan sheet. I trade uh, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I trade a PM iron condor. But I think I took some, some stuff from the P2H. But I do a 3-2 ratio and... You can check those tests to see what I do there, but just on Tuesday and Wednesday, I believe. Yeah.
All right, getting a little reversal coming down in SPX. It's a nice decay coming in, nice and centered. TGIF is pretty unchanged, it looks like. My 6.7 is up a couple hundred. SPX heading back towards the open.
Got about seven minutes before the Dick K special goes into effect. SPX, nice and choppy today so far. Just like we like it after we get into a uh, premium selling position. S&P now up 14, NASDAQ up 1%, Russell's down a third of a percent, Dow down a quarter percent. Right, so twenty five delta on the call side is going to be the same strike as my AM ratio, forty four hundred. 4380 would be the put strike. You you like to wait for a little bounce here, right, Dick? And SPX pushing down towards the open.
All right, so I'd be looking at the 4,400. Forty-four fifty-five, It's coming down. Coming down. <clears throat> Still coming down. New lows on the day. <clears throat> yes, I'm going 43.95, 44.50. 43.75, 43.20. Still coming down. Gonna go down one more strike. Filled at 1150. I'm on the 4390, 43.70. <clears throat> So my first profit target is going to be at 10.10. Dicks back up to seventeen point seven seven. Still not quite as high as where the VIX open, but just about.
SPX coming down towards Friday's close. If we can get a little bit of a bounce and some premium suckage, I'd be able to hit a quick, quick profit in this one. <laughs> Six one eight, strongest of the, of all the fibs. TikTok hit its low of the day. You watch TikTok a lot, I guess, huh, Dick K? TikTok, fib clock, fib clock. <laughs> That's where you draw the line. But don't the ticks move with price action? Can't you just look at price action? Coming down towards 43.70, which is near Friday's close. Looks like close is at just below 43.70 on Friday. AM ratio needs a little bounce now. Right, but that's kind of like using an RSI to indicate overbought or oversold, right? I mean, it can stay overbought or oversold. And it just follows price. Seen a little bounce come in. <laughs> but the ticks are derived from what price does, aren't they?
Price moves up, ticks move up. Ooh, my six sevens coming to life. Looks like it's up about five or six hundred now. Let's see. <clears throat> Got into the six seven at seven seventy five on Friday. Looks like it's currently trading at about eight forty. Let's start peeling some of the six, seven off. If we get up to like nine 30, it'd be SPX taking a little pause at least. Wouldn't call it a bounce necessarily. Coming back down.
All right, my friends, I am going to jump off here. The uh, AM ratio, I'm looking for 50% to take half off and reduce stop. The BitK special, looking for 15% to start peeling off and reducing stop. Just going to do a little tiny bounce. Um, so we'll be back for power hour, the last hour of the day. Look forward to seeing you then. Have a good day.